guys and welcome back to today's video. Yep, it's another foundation review. Milani did launch some new products just a couple of weeks ago. They launched their new stick foundation, their new concealer, and a new intense bronze highlighter. Not highlighter. The name kind of caught me off guard because it says intense bronze glow. I just have these three items for today's video and I thought it would be fun to do a wear test and see how they perform on my oily skin. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first product I have to test out is the Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. This one retails for $9.99. They launched 20 foundation shades and I picked up the shade 200 Porcelain, which is actually their latest shade. Right off the bat, I do want to mention that this packaging is definitely not my favorite. It feels a little bit cheap, which is kind of surprising for Milani. They usually try to look very high high end and upscale. And this one, what is actually keeping the cap on is these little ridges. Hold on. So when you put the cap on, it pushes the cap out a little bit so it makes it stick. I don't know, it just doesn't feel that secure to me. And another thing that I thought was kind of funny is that they put the little foundation marking around the tube, right? It's just a little piece of tape. I was like, what? <laughs> huge deal. It's just something I do want to mention in case you guys are into packaging and all of that. I'm gonna just prime the skin really quickly and do my normal routine. I'm gonna take some of my Benefit Professional and just apply a little bit in the T-zone just to help kind of fill things in a little bit here and there with the larger pores. The next step that I've been loving to do is just applying some of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. So I'm just gonna begin by putting a couple stripes here. With stick foundations, I've just found that brushes are the best method. A sponge really doesn't cut it for me, so I am gonna go straight in with a brush. This is the Sigma Round Kabuki F82. I'm just gonna start buffing this into the skin. So this stick foundation says that it is full coverage. It's supposed to give a natural matte finish that'll last 12 hours. It's also transfer and water resistant. And looking online here, it says it has a bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of pores. Well, well, well. I mean, one thing is for sure, this is pretty good coverage here. That is definitely full coverage. It almost looks fake because this is maybe just a little bit too light for me. <laughs> it matches my neck, but my face is a little bit tanner, I guess you could say. That's usually the case. Your face gets tanner than your neck does. So, I mean, at least in the end, I will match my neck. <laughs> it looks like I'm getting a beard. I'm definitely loving the way that this applies with the brush. It goes on very smoothly. It does feel like a very thick formula, so I'm just kind of curious how it would blend out with a sponge. I know I said I wasn't gonna because my favorite method is the brush with stick foundations, but I'm just gonna put a little bit around the nose and then take my sponge and see if it's difficult to use this product with a sponge just because it feels so thick. And yeah, first thoughts were right. Brush is better. It took a lot of the foundation off as well. Like I had quite a bit here and the foundation is gone. And yeah, just a little bit more difficult to blend out. It's always good to test though, you never know. Oh man, almost forgot to go down my neck. <laughs> my neck's so pale, I just forgot about it. Here's a bit of a close up of what the foundation looks like on the skin upon first application. As of right now, the foundation is looking really good on the skin. I do look very matte. Everything is looking flawless. I like it. Let's move on to the concealer. This is the Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. I picked up the shade 110 Nude Ivory. This concealer retails for $8.99 and there is 18 shades to choose from, which I just realized might be a little bit darker than the foundation. Let me put a little swatch of that back on my hand. Ooh, yeah. Whoopsie. Hopefully though, it won't be too noticeable. I'm just gonna use a little bit underneath the eyes anyway. That's the place I like to test out the concealer and especially on foundation testing days, you don't wanna put it anywhere else. So so let's just go ahead and apply a little bit underneath the eyes here. 
But this concealer is also supposed to be full coverage and water resistant. I'm just gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques sponge. That is some good coverage. And to be honest, I don't think it really is that noticeable that it's a little bit darker than the foundation. I think it blends together quite well. One thing I do really like is the fact that the foundation and concealer has not raised in price. They have two older formulas. They have the full coverage liquid foundation, which I've actually never tested. That one is $9.99. And the new foundation came out, it's $9.99. Their previous concealer was $8.99, new price $8.99, which I'm so happy about because it seems like a lot of drugstore prices are going up. So the newer launches have a higher sticker tag than some of the older products, which is a little bit annoying. So I am beyond happy that they decided to keep it at the same price range. That is, of course, until I get to tell you guys about the price of that bronzer. Ooh, you guys are about to lose your minds. And that blended like a dream. My under eyes look really smooth right now, so I'm gonna go in right away. Cody Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. This is my go-to everyday powder, so I'm gonna apply it usual areas, you guys know it. The chin, the smile lines, which I really need to set the smile lines here because I'm already noticing that they are kind of gathering as I've been sitting here talking. I think that's just because the stick foundation is a little bit of a thicker formula and I smile a lot and I talk a lot throughout the day. So it's kind of common if I don't set that area. Then of course the under eyes, a little bit of powder under there. Gotta make sure we're all sealed in the nose. I always tell myself like, oh, don't add too much powder, make it look natural. The only areas I really leave out are the sides of the cheeks right here, a little bit of the sides of the forehead, and that's basically it. <laughs> I'm pretty powdered down, but it's the precautions I take when dealing with my oily skin. I definitely think it makes a huge difference in my foundation wear time if I do that because the areas that I did not set are still a little bit tacky. So that's gonna be interesting to see how it wears in comparison to where I set it. Always good to know. And since I can't stare at these foundation lips for any longer, I'm just gonna pull up a little bit of lip color on. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in Cedar Latte. I've been wearing the High Shine and Send Nudes for way too long now. It's been in almost every single video, so I thought I'd switch it up. Still the High Shine formula, but different color. Now, let's get into the Intense Bronze Glow Face and Body Powder Bronzer. It has this gold reflective outside packaging. Woo, there you see my camera and ring light. It has really beautiful packaging on this one. I gotta admit, this screams luxury to me. <laughs> it just looks very like, ooh, what is that? Let's do a little swatch. This is the number one shade. Whoa, Nelly, dang. That is shimmery, holy moly. It almost looks like a highlighter. This is the one I was telling you guys, you may freak out at the price tag because, ooh. It's $19.99. Milani is a little bit pricier in some items, but it just kind of throws me off a little bit because the foundation and concealer I do feel is pretty affordable. $9.99 and $8.99, and then you get the, to the bronzer, which is basically $20. I don't really understand it. The only reason I splurged to get this was I did have a coupon code for the time. It was my big day. I don't know if it works any longer, but I got off almost $10. It was like $9.37, something like that. So I think of it like it brought the bronzer down to like $10. So I was like, okay, I could try it for 10. So I'm taking a clean Aesthetica brush that you wanna use for bronzer, the P12. I got really curious right now because I was like, it is so shimmery. Is this really a bronzer? And looking on the back here, that is what it says. It says it's in Sunkissed Bronze. It is a face and body powder bronzer. But then it also says drape your face and body in this luminous melting powder highlighter. Intense pearls and bronzing pigments deliver a foil-like shine that melts into the skin. Apply with fingers or a dense brush for an intense metallic shimmer. 
So I'm just like, is it a highlighter? Is it a bronzer? I don't actually know. I think it's supposed to be both. I mean, it's really an interesting product. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep putting this all over the face like it's a bronzer. That's kind of why I wanted to show you guys the back of the package in there. That way you're not like, you're putting a highlighter on your face. It says it's a bronzer, so that's what I'm going with. I am kind of curious since it says you can use it with your fingertips too. Just gonna wanna pop a little bit on here. Nope, abort mission, abort mission. Man, my skin is glowing right now. <laughs> there is so much micro glitter on my face right now because of this highlighter. So that's something also to kind of keep in mind since the website isn't that descriptive. It doesn't really say too much about it. You just see some pictures of it and then that's kind of it. So it's not just a very shimmery bronzer. It's also a very glittery bronzer. So I'm also getting a lot of gold glitter over the face as I'm working in this bronzer. But I don't know. What do you guys think of the bronzer? Because I'm a little bit torn. So I was expecting this to be very shimmery. I mean, it has intense bronze glow in the name. I knew it was going to be a shimmery bronzer, but I think the only thing that threw me off was the glitter inside of it. I think one huge thing I need to do is go outside with this foundation. I think I'll do my check-in outside. That way you guys can see it in a little bit better lighting. We'll see how everything's holding up and see exactly how this bronzer looks outside. Oh, which let me just set the face. I just use a little bit more of the Photo Focus Coconut Primer Water just to set it all down. But here we have it. All of the products have been applied. Everything is looking good so far. So I am gonna tell you guys the time. It is now 11.45 a.m. I am gonna wear this for eight hours today. I am planning to do a check-in halfway through. I'll update you guys on the time it is whenever I do that check-in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go about my day. I do have quite a bit of editing to do. I need a video to go up today, which is gonna be yesterday for you guys. The highlighter declutter video. I'll go ahead and put a little boop up to that one since that one should be live now. <laughs> if past Nessa has done her job properly, that video should be up. I'll also link it in the description box down below. So in case you don't wanna click out of this video yet, you wanna see how this wears, you can check that out afterwards. But now let's commence the wear test. I am so witching it up on you guys. It is time for a check-in. It is now 4.52 p.m. So almost five hours now, just a few minutes off. I was gonna do the check-in outside, but it is so unbelievably gloomy. It is so <laughs> windy also. I tried going out there and it's just like <sighs> And I was like, this is not gonna work. Little update here on how the foundation and everything is looking. Let me zoom you closer. Of course, I'm in my living room right now, so the lighting isn't the greatest, but I thought I'd give you something more realistic than beauty room lights. So even in this lighting, you can tell that I'm getting just a little bit oily at this point in my T-zone area right about here. And on the tip of my nose, the foundation is starting to wear off a little bit, which you guys voted for it. I asked you guys if you wanted to see touch-ups on foundation review days. 88% of you said no touch-ups, so that is what I am doing. Oh, I think I got another vote within that second and it switched to 87%, but still, the majority of you guys don't wanna see touch-up on foundation review days, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna leave it as is. As for the concealer, it's actually looking like it's holding up pretty well under there. So far, so good. The bronzer, still there, <laughs> hasn't gone anywhere. I am kind of warming up to it a little bit. The only thing that throws me off is all that glitter that is in there. I wish I would be able to take you guys outside, but it's also so gloomy. There's no sun out, I couldn't show you how it reflects. So here's what I'm thinking. I am putting the little flashlight on my camera camera, not my camera, my phone. And I'm wondering if you can see it in the light. I don't know, I'll have to see if that worked when I edited. Aside from that, it does look actually really pretty. I'm thinking it's more of a summertime kind of bronzer, just cause I feel like with the amount of shimmer that's in it, that's the vibes that it gives me. So far, that is the update. That's how everything's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and wear it for at least another 
three hours or so and I will check back in with you guys back in my beauty room and give you my final thoughts. My hair has deflated, my face is oily, so you know what that means. It's time for the final check-in. It is 7.38 p.m. Hold on, let me get you a little closer, that way you can see it. There it is. So let me go ahead and scoot you guys closer so we can see this foundation together. The foundation has gotten pretty heavily oily all around the face right now. It's just kind of everywhere. <laughs> My nose has almost all but disappeared. It's caked up quite a bit right up in here in the nose. The chin is looking a little bit cakey also, and so is it kind of along here. It's started to do a little bit of a grabbing motion that I'm not too crazy about. Definitely not thrilled with the way that this looks, but one of you guys on my post where I asked you if you wanted me to do touch-ups and not, Panic at the Chemical Disco, that's her name on there, said she never does touch-ups, but it would be really cool to do touch-ups on one side of your face and none on the other, that way we could see both, and if you guys actually like that comments. So I was thinking why not take a little bit of powder. This is my favorite blotting powder. This is the one by Colourpop, the no filter sheer pressed powder. I'm just gonna take the Wet n Wild brush. I'm gonna powder it down on one side of the face. Which actually when I remove the oils on this side of the face, I need to zoom you guys back in. I can now see that the foundation is starting to really gather up in this area. It was kind of hard to tell before because it was so oily, it was kind of filtering it in a way. But now that all the oil is gone, I can see that the foundation is just like gone. Milani, Milani, you got some explaining to do, okay? <laughs> I am just gonna say it. I'm not a fan of this foundation. I think after wearing it all day, I'm gonna powder the rest of my face so I kind of even myself out. I'm not a fan. I don't like how cakey I got. I don't like how it's grabbing in certain areas. I got way too oily. The foundation disappeared on my nose. I mean, it's just all adding up. So I would have to say if you have an oilier skin type, the foundation stick is gonna be a pass. Then let's go ahead and talk about the concealer. So I actually really enjoyed the formula of this one. It was very full coverage, but yet it felt very lightweight and very liquidy. Everything is still looking really good. So I think I'm definitely gonna keep using the concealer and testing it out. So the concealer is a win in my book, which I think we need one out of this testing because then I have the bronzer to talk about. Man, I got a lot of fingerprints on this already. Just opened this up today too. Here's the thing with this bronzer. I think if you have an oilier skin type, this is probably not gonna be the best bronzer for you to use. I felt like it added to the oily look on my skin when I had the oils all over the face before I set it down with a blotting powder. So I think if you do get very oily throughout the day, this is one you might wanna stay away from because it's gonna exaggerate that even more. Also, I think $20 is a little bit pricey for it. Yes, it's a very large pan, but I do believe they have pretty large bronzers that are just $10.99, somewhere around there, and they're not nearly as this expensive. So to me, this bronzer just really isn't that worth it. I was on the verge throughout the day and I was kind of warming up to it, but then after I saw it with all the, the oils on my face and just combined, I was just like, no, this isn't gonna work for me. So that is actually it for today's review, wear test, everything like that. Oh man, I love doing these types of videos for you guys. I find it just so fun to hang out with you all day, check in with you, see how everything's looking, testing out new foundations. But that's gonna conclude today's video. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!